Today I'm gonna to be taking you guys through a whole day of eating quarantine edition. Oh my gosh, peacocks. What's up guys, we are back with another YouTube video this week. This one's gonna be pretty simple, almost just like a vlog style. Um, peacocks are so annoying. I mean, I got my window open over here because it's getting pretty hot and there's no air conditioning in this house, just a fan. And then this thing, a little bit of explaining. I tend to get super like tight in my upper back. This just helps loosen up any tight muscles in my upper back because that's where I'm always getting tight. I don't know if it's just my posture or what, but. So I just realized I didn't even tell you guys what this is. This is a bag of rice and you just heat it up in the microwave for two to three minutes. It gets super warm and you put it up on your back around your shoulders. Oh my gosh, it's like heaven. I can't live without this. I need this in my life. I use a mix of those back exercises I showed you guys in the last video if you haven't checked it out. Check it out. I gotta keep switching arms here, by the way, because my arms are getting tired. But <laughs> that's why I'm using this to kind of loosen up my back, and then I'm, I'm probably gonna go do some stretches as well to uh, to get everything moving. But yeah, that's that's what's happening today. I'm gonna be showing you guys everything I'm eating within the day. Quarantine edition, though. So we're going with sort of like easy foods um, that you can just throw together really quick, especially when you're stocking up or if you don't want to cook. I'm gonna show you guys how it goes down. We're gonna do a little of cooking probably as well. With that being said, let's get started. I, I do intermittent fasting in the morning, so I drink uh, just plain black coffee and then uh, get some stuff done, keep myself busy so I'm not even thinking about food. And then probably around uh, the afternoon time is when I'm gonna break that, break that fast. But I have been going to bed a little bit earlier because I've been trying to wake up at like 5 a.m. I didn't do it this morning. Yesterday wasn't a good day. I had a headache and all kinds of stuff. But the day before that, I did it and it felt amazing. I'm gonna go back to the 5 a.m. schedule tonight. So I'm probably gonna break my fast a little bit earlier, like 10, 30, 11, um, and then end it probably like five or six because I'm gonna go to bed at like around nine. I'm usually fine after I eat my last meal and I don't get hungry until I go to bed and then your hunger resets anyways when you wake up. So that's how that's gonna be going down. Um, but let's get started. I can't wait to show you guys, uh, especially some of these meals that may be able to give you some ideas and tips for what you can be eating during this quarantine, uh, whether you're in quarantine or not, whatever part of the world you're from. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's gonna be that and uh, yeah, you should give this a try. Look it up, what does it say? V oh, this is Swedish, this is a Swedish brand, but I'm sure we can find some on Amazon. If I find one, I'll link it down in the description so you can pick it up. This is a game changer. Um, but anyways, let's get to it. Let's get to it. We are in the kitchen for meal number one of the day. I just did a quick workout outside. And now I'm not gonna be cooking up everything. This was already made. And uh, so just eating some leftovers because that's my life. But we got this, uh, this waffle made from scratch actually. So simple ingredients. Of course, we got plenty of options for our carbs and maybe this isn't the greatest, but you know what? It's all about balance. So we got the waffles. I'm gonna be making like a breakfast waffle out of these. So I'm gonna be putting eggs on top, cheese, uh, prosciutto, probably some avocado as well. Let's, let's figure it out as we go. That's how my meals go. I kind of just figure it out as I go and start making it and don't really have a plan beforehand. So you guys get to see the real deal here. So we got some leftover prosciutto from Trader Joe's in this little bag. We got the baby Swiss cheese. And we got some eggs. I'll probably actually cook three of these in total. But I'm gonna hop over there. Yeah, we'll do a little time lapse of this coming together or whatever. Let's see. Let's see how it goes. Remember those days, those L's, I could sleep right now. I get paid, fake games, stay in peace. I'm breaking the blues over steak, I gotta eat right. You could be my peace sign. I don't need that energy around me. I just need sun, you're so cloudy. I wake up good, you're so grouchy. Please get from around me. 
When the truth don't work, you start telling lies Thought you were down the ride, you weren't down the ride Caught switching, you were picking sides Don't blink, caught slipping like a slip and slide I was shooting dice till I got a nosebleed Money on the floor, can't get cold feet Took an L, should've put it in the whole free Lord, forgive me for my sins, don't know of me Scary thoughts, I got scary thoughts Lost So bam, just like that, this is meal number one Once again, we got our waffle under um, we got cheese and prosciutto and then two eggs sunny side up right on top with some everything but the bagel seasoning. Cook these in extra virgin olive oil as well. I even got one egg left here for some extra protein and fats and I'm gonna throw that on my plate after this on a bed of spinach here. So they'll be getting some greens in. Of course I'm gonna eat more greens later but this, I haven't tried this exact thing before. I usually if I do have waffles it's with uh, just the classic honey and maybe some peanut butter on top. I'm sure this is gonna be amazing. So I'm gonna eat this up and get back with you after. So just finished up that amazing breakfast waffle. That is, I'm definitely doing that again. Um, but now I'm gonna throw that extra egg on here with the spinach and that will top it off. I'm sure I'm gonna be full after this. So we're already working on dinner. We got frozen ground turkey in the freezer. I'm using a slow cooker here. It should be done by dinner time and it's gonna be good. This has been the most used thing in the kitchen during this uh, quarantine because you just throw your meat in here, it tastes the best when it's slow cooked and then it's ready by dinner. So that's what we're doing. So as you can see, these are frozen and I'm gonna have to break them down to actually fit in here. So we're gonna let them thaw for a little bit until we get cooking. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing to the channel, hit that like button and turn on the notifications as well so you don't miss any of these uploads. We're doing two a week, you don't wanna miss these. What's good? I've been working on a little bit of emails, listening to an audiobook while I've been doing those emails because I had some stuff to get done here. But the audiobook is YouTube Secrets by Sean Cannell and Benji Travis. You know we're trying to grow our YouTube here, so I've been listening to this. Um, a lot of reminders of things and kind of just opening my eyes to a lot of the things I can be doing better with my YouTube channel, how I can be growing it even more than I am at the point I'm at right now. Lots of good stuff, but I'm actually starting to get kind of hungry again. I know it's only been like an hour, hour and a half, but that was my first meal of the day. So even though it was a lot of food, I haven't eaten like that much calories for like the entire day or within my eating window. So I'm gonna go get that protein bar and I'll be right back. Ooh, you already know what's oh, upside down. Quest bar, amazing. These are some of the best. I love switching between all kinds of brands of Quest, or not Quest, protein bars, so that I don't get tired of them. And now I'm back to Quest. And if you don't recognize this, go check out my last YouTube video where I literally convert this into pretty much dessert. Right? Probably the most healthy, protein-rich dessert you'll ever see in your life. It tastes 10 times better than this bar on its own. But now that I'm actually thinking about it, why don't I go do that? I'm gonna go do that. I'm not eating this plain. I'll be right back. Oh my, would you look at that. If you wanna learn how to make this, go check out that last YouTube video. This tastes 10 times better. It's the same bar, but it's very easy to make and it tastes, as I said before. So go give that a try if you're trying to um, unleash the power and taste of your protein bars. Mm. So I'm gonna eat this and then I'll see you guys for whatever I'm eating next. <laughs> it's about that time. This we got, we're keeping it simple. Protein rich as well. This is a Chobani Greek yogurt coffee and cream. I have not tried this one yet. This sounds good. 11 grams of protein and there's a little, little bitty yogurt. And on top of that, we got these rice rollers. This is rice cake, but in a roller form. Dipping in your yogurt. Mm, like dessert, so we're gonna eat this. Actually, let's give it a try. 
Oh, that's good. Hold up. Proper taste test here. Let's see. Mmm. Oh, you're already in the video. Come over here. <laughs> so for some reason, my mic just completely stopped working here. Like, hello? Anyways, these foods right here are not my actual snack. This is what I used for the TikTok I'm about to shoot that I was explaining. The pizza was frozen. Did not eat that. I only took a bite, I swear. And then the chips were some low-calorie protein chips i'll throw a link in the description to them because they're bomb not many people know about them so pick them up like 90 calories in a serving but yeah check out this behind the scenes of this tiktok you need to come help me quick it's like five minutes okay all right let's go hurry up get up let's go you need a break you what? need a break what get are up. you doing i'm filming a tiktok and i need i don't want to set the phone i gotta i'm vlogging right now if you're asking but i need help with the tiktok all okay. right let's go all right, BTS squad, shooby doo bop bop. You're literally gonna get my face like, like I'm getting ready to work out, like up close, and then you're gonna pull back to there where you can kind of see at an angle you can see what the food is. First, I'm gonna grab a chip, dip it in there, and then I'm gonna eat pizza. How are you gonna do that while you're playing? Just pizza? watch, okay? Are you ready? Okay, what? So first you're gonna get up close so you don't see the food. You just see my face, and I'm getting ready to do a push-up. No, you're gonna, you're just gonna go back to the point that you can see the food and me. But you still want to see what the food is. So I'm going to be like this. This pizza's melting. It's frozen. Okay, we need to adjust this light. There we go. There we go. All right. Shit. Oh, I knew that was going to. Three, two, one. <laughs> Here, the pizza's for you. You know what? We need to do a YouTube video where I eat on your diet for the day. Like, you tell me what I'm gonna eat for the day. Okay. Why, <laughs> you're already, great. he's already laughing. So, comment below if you want to see him determine my diet for 24 hours in one of the next YouTube videos. He gets to call, call the shots and he's not a healthy eater, so. And vice versa. Yeah, and vice versa. Comment below. All right, we are in the kitchen for dinner. Oh, what's up, Popperon? Say. How's it going to the vlog? Everyone's gonna see you on YouTube. Good, excellent. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, we got our ground turkey in the slow cooker. This is just about done. Would you look at that? All seasoned up and everything. Mm. And it's been cooking for a few hours, so, or since lunchtime, so it's gonna be amazing. And then I'm gonna do something I haven't tried before where I'm gonna take some corn. I'm gonna take uh, frozen cauliflower rice and then frozen peas over here and I'm gonna make some a sort of like stir fry with soy sauce so that should be really good so let's get to cooking this and that is gonna be dinner going to be a wrap on this meal. Check out what we got here. We got the turkey slow cooked right in here, as I said. We got the stir fry, mmm. Would you look at that? That's got soy sauce and a few other seasonings in it with peas, cauliflower rice, corn, and then we got broccoli here, slightly seasoned a little bit, and then I just threw this together. It's a kale salad kit. Looks like this, super simple. But then we got our spinach. Of course, you gotta have the spinach and a little bit of avocado to throw up on there because we got some avocados that need to be eaten up. But that's gonna be it for dinner and that is pretty much a full day of eating. Of course, I have a little bit of calories left to eat some dessert after this. I'll show you guys what that is. Um, and when I throw my plate together, I'm gonna show you as well. So let's get to it. dishing up. All right, we are here, and this is what dinner is gonna be looking like tonight. Here's the plate of food. Oh, babe. Oh, babe. I'm gonna enjoy this. Remember, we did intermittent fasting, so this is my second big meal of the day with the snacks in between. And I'm also gonna throw some ketchup on the ground turkey because, oh, it tastes amazing. Just kidding. I'll put ketchup over all of my food. Oh my gosh, I got ketchup everywhere. Let me show you that dessert. And whoa bam we got our low calorie ice cream that I'm gonna be having 
for dessert. This is called Scandalous. And it's actually, I ate the one half last night and then the second half's tonight. So it's 240 calories total, but I'm actually only eating about 120 calories because it, it's half. And there's some protein in here as well. So macro friendly, but I'm gonna eat this. And that is gonna be a wrap for the rest of the night. I hope some of these meals and seeing what a day in my life of eating looks like in quarantine helps with whatever your diet may be looking like and getting some ideas for food combos or whatever snack ideas. But regardless, if you want more recipes for some of the healthiest, tastiest snacks that I make in my kitchen, then check out the Healthy Snacks Cookbook, uh, link in description. That's 20 of my favorite healthy snacks. Everybody's been picking that up and loving it, so if you haven't grabbed it, then go get it. By the way, it's free, so just go get it. Pick up a copy. Other than that, guys, once again, please subscribe if you haven't. Hit the like button as well, and leave me a comment on what meal you thought was the most delicious. What are you gonna be trying? And of course, hit the notifications button because you don't wanna miss these videos, right? That's gonna be a wrap for today's video, and I'll be seeing you guys in the next one. Peace.